We have head coach Ron Beachler with us today to preview the 2023-24 season for the Ohio Northern wrestling team. Coach, what are your overall thoughts going into this season? Well, we, we had a phenomenal year last year, so obviously the goal is to do better this year than what we did last year. And I think we have the, the lineup to do it. Uh, we're solid from bottom to top. I, I don't think we have what I would consider a weak weight class. We're, we're solid all the way across. but. You know, they're going to have to step up in some of those weights and take that next step. And, and we talk to the guys about that all the time, that from one year to the next, you have to take the next step. Uh, and we've got four or five weight classes that we have guys that if they can take that next step, then I think we can duplicate or do better than what we did last year. And two-time All-American Jacob Reed and 2023 National Qualifier Gavin Lehman return for their junior seasons. What are your expectations for them this year? Well, just as I previously said, they, they need to take that next step. Jacob's been third in the country two years in a row as a freshman and sophomore, and he needs to take that next step and get in the finals. And you get in the finals, then obviously he has a chance to win a national title, but he has to take that next step. And it's the same with Gavin. It it's, was phenomenal to get Gavin to the national tournament as a sophomore last year. He took a huge step from his freshman year to his sophomore year, and now we need to say, see him take that step from – being a national qualifier to now take that step to be an All-American. And what are your thoughts on the rest of the roster? Well, as, as I said earlier, I mean, we're, we're solid from top to bottom, and we got some depth. Uh, there's no doubt about that. We got some young, good guys in there that are going to push some of the upperclassmen. Uh, we got five returning regional placers, and some of them were just a match or a couple points away from getting into that finals uh, for third and fourth to get that qualification for nationals. And, they have to take that next step. And we have several guys in our lineup this year that have sat behind guys who went to nationals last year or <clears throat> even placed at the national or at the regional tournament and, and they need to take that next step themselves. Uh, I think the goal is going to be, you know, to, to place all ten weight classes at the regional tournament. And I think that's a very, very realistic goal. And give us some thoughts on this season's schedule and how the OAC stacks up this year. Well, our our schedule is pretty consistent from year to year. We're going to see some of the top comp competition throughout the year. We open up this weekend at the Mount Union Invitational. There'll be a couple of D2 teams there as well as D3, and and that's you'll see that sprinkled in throughout our schedule where we'll we'll have some matches with D2 guys, but we'll have some of the top D3 guys. The OEC is always as, as strong as as it is every year. Uh, BW is still the team to beat. Uh, you know, they've got eight or nine seniors that are going to be in their lineup this year. You know, they, they finished in the top four of the country last year, finished third, actually. Uh, so I'm sure they're looking to take that next step with all the seniors, and they got a couple transfers in. So we have them and John Carroll early in this first part of the season. We have John Carroll in November, uh, and then at the end of November, after Thanksgiving, we have BW. So right out of the gate in the conference schedule, we're hitting the, the two best teams in the, in the conference for us. And... We were picked to finish second. Uh, we need to do that or exceed that, and, and that's even taking that next step. If, if we want to continue to do something on a national level, we need to take that step and, and compete every time we step on that mat. And whether it's the best team in, in the country we're wrestling or the worst team in the country, I want to see us be competitive. I want to see us go out, attack people. Uh, you know, as they say, don't, you know, don't fear anybody, but respect them. But I want to see us go out there and go after them. And if you do that, then you have a shot to win the, the match as well as the duel. Thanks, Coach. The Polar Bears open their season on November 4th at the Mount Union Invitational.